Hello devs and welcome to our new tutorial series on C-Sharp WPF the MVVM design pattern. We're going to be making a task manager in this course. We're going to really, you know, get our hands dirty in the wonderful world of MVVM. I've been away for so long because I've been teaching myself how to do MVVM on a, a level that I feel comfortable enough to teach it to other people. Um, if you didn't know already, my name's Lee. I'll be guiding you through the fascinating world of desktop application development using these powerful technologies. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, this series is designed to provide you with a solid understanding and practical skills. So let's dive in. So just an overview of C-Sharp framework. To start off, let's talk about C-Sharp. C-Sharp is a modern object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft. It's widely used for a variety of applications, but today we're going to be focusing on the creation of desktop applications with the WPF framework, uh, also made by Microsoft, that allows you to create visually stunning user interfaces. It separates the look from the logic, making your application easier to manage and scale. This is the task manager that we're going to be creating. I put this together in Figma so we've actually a tangible goal that we can see and hopefully achieve. With WPF you can create rich interactive user interfaces using XAML, a markup language that defines the layout of your UI. WPF also provides a wide range of controls like buttons, text boxes, list views, so on which we'll explore more in depth in later videos. This is just a, an overview of MVVM pattern looks like on a, a very aerial view. MVVM stands for Model View View Model. This pattern is widely used in WPF application for a reason. It separates your application into three main components. The model, which represents the data and business logic. We've got the view, which is the user interface, and the view model, which acts as an in-between for the view and the model. The separation makes your application more modular, easier to test and more maintainable. Why use MVVM with WPF? Separation of concern. Um, by dividing the application into distinct layers, it's easier to manage and update. Improved testability. With a clear separation, you can test components independently. Data binding. MVVM makes it easy to bind your UI components to your data model which reduces the amount of boilerplate code. Better collaboration. Designers can focus on the view while developers can work on the view model and model. What we're going to be doing in this series, we're going to be building a task manager from scratch. We're going to be using C Sharp WPF and the MVVM design pattern. And by the end of this series, you should be familiar enough with the MVVM to start using it in projects opposed to the old code behind where I actually think if you are new to programming or you're still learning starting with MVVM will give you a much much better chance of getting a job in the industry as that is what what people look for nowadays don't get me wrong there will be some companies out there that still use the old code behind but I know that for standard it is MVVM I hope You've kind of got a, an overview of what we're going to be doing. If you've enjoyed any of my series before, this is going to feel like an absolute breeze because a lot of the time in the past, I've kind of coded along with you and it's been a little bit like do a little bit here, go back and, re and get rid of that. This is a little bit more structured each video. Um, I'll still be coding along with you and like learning as we go along because all I've done is made the, the design at the moment. Um, so we're still doing it together, kind of, but I'm going to try and make the videos less cluttered with unneeded things where I'm just talking absolute rubbish or, or like my, I'm, I'm just kind of spitting my brain out on, onto you. I hope this, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do give it a thumbs up so we can help me with the algorithm. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section, but other than that, I will see you in the next video.